like it must have been hard for him that start, uh, you know, and how they didn't get the results that they wanted, losing to the Dragons. We think they lost away to the Dragons, and now they're in a final. I mean, um, it's it's been brilliant how he's how he's mapped it out, hasn't panicked, and uh, yeah, he deserves good credit, big credit. And I think, I think that win for Munster, it, it, like they can build on that. Now, that's, the biggest problem I think for the other provinces is not being able to have those signature wins against Leinster um, uh, and the self-belief that you get from that, the confidence you get from that. Um, and that's what Leinster have been brilliant at. They've just killed any bit of hope or optimism in the other provinces uh, when they've had the chance to do it. But they missed that chance on on uh, on, on Saturday. And um, you'd imagine Munster will, will gain a lot from it. And that's why the celebrations afterwards they're fully justified. I know some people think, oh, don't like waste all your emotional energy celebrating a semi-final. Thankfully, they have two weeks from Munster's point of view. Thankfully, they have two weeks to regenerate because if it was next weekend going to South Africa, you think that's a that's a lot to get back up there again. But it is really significant that they've gone to Dublin where they've had such an awful record in the Viva Stadium against Leinster and they've, they've won a game that was really in the balance and that looked like it had gone out of their out of their favour. You know, when Salah no one knocks on the ball in that kind of swing couple of minutes where McCarthy scores down the other end, you think that's it. We've seen this story for Leinster turning the screw here, but that wasn't it. They ripped up the, the script and they have that mental fill-up now. And it's also easy to kind of diminish that by saying, listen, this isn't Leinster's first team, which it's it's not. That's completely fair. But it's still a really good Leinster team they've beaten here. I, I think that's maybe being overplayed now at the moment because yeah it is a week in Leinster but it's still bar two it's all international 15 all guys who played international rugby some players at the very highest level Henshaw and Atai others Conan I could go on the list could go on people who've been lauded as world class elite test players in, in recent times and Munster beat that team you know it's a good enough Leinster team to win this semi-final I think and, and very nearly did and on top of that, Munster are missing, what, four of the starters from the quarterfinal with those head injuries. So they have significant impact on, on their selection as well. So I think it is a really important moment. And there's been all this talk about rivalry. Gav and I were talking about it on Friday, and we said clearly the players still feel it is true. And, and this underlines that it is. And it also makes it even spicier the next time they play because Leinster will be reticent to, to rest anyone. And I think... It'd be fascinating to be a fly in the wall when Leo and Stewart discuss that selection and what they maybe feel they got wrong. You maybe guess around the bench they, they could have stacked that a little bit more and had a bit more impact where Munster had major impact from their bench. Kandelin, who we've mentioned, Jack O'Donoghue was brilliant. Scanlon was really phenomenal and remind everyone how good he is. And, and um, yeah, that was an important part of, of the game. So I think it's valid that Munster celebrate as heartily as they do. They've had such horrific experiences against Leinster and they've felt the full brunt of Leinster's brilliance at times. And even in this game they did, but they had enough to, to pick them. Yeah, just on that, Murray, I wouldn't, and this sounds outcome focused, but if Leinster wins Saturday, I think it's justified the, the selection, to be fair. And also, let's be honest, like a lot of these players have played like a I spoke to James Lowe before the game. He, he's only played four URC games. You know, like a lot of these fellas have done a lot of the heavy lifting mm. during the during the yeah. campaign. They are very good players. They um they went very close to, to winning it. Um and given the fact that Leinster haven't won a European Cup since 2018, I mean, if Leo played Ross Byrne and, and he got injured and they lost next week, I mean, there'd be lots of questions asked. So obviously, if they lose Saturday, it's gonna look uh, you know, a worse decision, but I think the be on end off for Leinster has to be Europe. Um, they obviously would have loved to have been able to do the double, um, and took a massive performance in Munster to stop them, um, having that opportunity. But uh, if they win Saturday, I think it'll be okay. But if they lose Saturday, um, there'll be serious questions asked, you know. And that's a that's a big if now, and it certainly adds to the pressure. And that is very real now, is that they can't go a second season trophy list, particularly when everything was teed up for two home finals yeah. this season and they had it perfectly laid out for them. And this is Lancaster's final hurrah. I know Leo's going to stay on, but you can only imagine how stressed he is by the prospect of, of not getting over the line and finishing it all with, with a bit extra glory. And with the squad and with the resources they have, two seasons without a trophy would be a really poor return. It just would be. That's 
that's just fact and and it's just such a tricky balance when they're the, the games are so close and, and I agree with you Birch I, I do think this is more about Munster getting up to the yeah. the level and catching that that second Leinster team but it will change things going forward you can only imagine speaking to a couple of the ex-players afterwards you know they're like I, I wouldn't I would have found it so hard to accept not playing in that game and you think some of the guys standing, sitting in the stand watching that would have felt the same like this is not acceptable to us Munster coming to our our, our, our home city and, and us losing so I think it's brilliant, just brilliant for Irish rugby that this turns things right up a notch in the rivalry. 